All right, welcome everybody. Okay, so I'm going to do a recap um, for yesterday uh, because I didn't do one for yesterday. Also, we'll include today as well. This is going to be a short week, of course, because we have the uh, Thanksgiving coming up on Thursday. Not sure how much trading I'm going to be doing tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, if so, early, early morning. Probably may or may not do any indices. I don't know. Maybe a few stocks. We'll have to just wait and see what the morning looks like. But, uh, of course, no trading on Thursday. And then, uh, for me, no trading on Friday. All right. So, um, we'll do this recap. And uh, if I have any trading going on tomorrow, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do one tomorrow as well. But, I'm just going to be going over just a couple things here, then we'll show you the overall results. Uh, I want to talk a little bit more about Crystal Ball. Crystal Ball is something that I use uh, mainly for the currencies. Um, and if you're a Forex trader, then Crystal Ball is one of the most powerful set of patterns that I've ever found and the beauty and the reason we call it crystal ball is because crystal ball gives us early warning to a particular currency pair having an explosive move crystal ball does a lot more than that but that's what I'm mainly looking at crystal ball also gives me an indication of how strong the market is but what I use it for is crystal ball not only gives me a direction uh, but it also tells me that a particular move is going is going to be what we call an explosive move or a big move up or down, and and that's how I use it. All right. So in this particular case today, it said that the yen was going to have a big move up. The actual pattern set up right over here for crystal ball about ten fifty two. And two, two and a half minutes later, we had this beautiful move up. Now, we did trade this. We did buy on a crystal ball. And then we um, carry this to the close of this bar and got out. So, nice little trade on the end. But let me show you the short. Later on, we had a crystal ball short. All right. And we took this crystal ball short as well. This came in after the big down move, but here's what's interesting about the crystal ball. Crystal ball also indicated that the yen was not done yet. The crystal ball was saying that the market is going to come down even further. And so we took advantage of that right after this big move down. We got in around uh, 1440, 1415, uh, which is around 215 uh, Eastern time. And then it had this really nice move on the downside, and we scalped this, all right? We just, once again, just like all the CB trades, uh, most of the trades, I'm going to be scalping it after I see some weakening. And if CB says well, there's weakening coming in, I'll go ahead and I'll just, you know, I'll just get out of it, meaning that the move down is starting to weaken, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just get out, and that's what we did. So... That's an example of the crystal ball. Um, I'll show you um, some other ones. Um, you'll see that in the results. I did it on uh, another currency pair. So we'll take a look at that as well. Let's take a look at uh, one of our stock trades today uh, that didn't work. And then we'll show you the results overall for the last two days for the stocks. Um, all right, let's look at that. Yeah, so here's ABVC. Uh, ABVC I put on this morning, um, I think I got a little bit too aggressive with it. Certainly, um, one of the things that I tend to be aggressive if I think a market's getting ready to move. And so, I initially bought it here. This was prior to the open. This gray area is prior to the 9.30 open Eastern time for the Dow Jones. So, I did, I did go ahead and buy it. Uh, on ABVC, and then when it went flat right before the opening, you know, one of the things I really like to do is I like to catch these stronger openings right out of the gate. And so I added more, and I was doing pretty good on ABVC, as you can see. It did explode, but it never went to my targets. I did have much higher targets up here, 
and it never really went beyond where I initially bought into it. And then it just started going down, 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 started weakening after I added in. And then once it broke through, had this big flush, I just went ahead and got out, took my loss, and that was pretty much it for ABVC. All right, so definitely um looking looking at it now the fact that it couldn't get through my initial entry i probably should have just got out of it but you know hindsight's always 2020 when it was hitting these levels i said oh yeah it's going and it's going to hit my target because when i'm looking at my targets einstein is telling me and it does give me probabilities it does tell me i still had over 70 percent probability i was going to hit my target so I mean, this game, folks, is all about probabilities, and that's that's the reason I like my patterns is because each one of the patterns that I trade, I know what their probabilities are, and all of them are over 70%, and the targets uh, for Einstein are over 70%, meaning that the price is going to hit the particular target over 70% of the time before it starts to pull back, and so um, I still had a 70% probability that it was going to hit that target, but in this case, it did not. So anyway, I took my loss on that. So overall, last two days, make a long story short, uh, I didn't do anything. I had no one to see trades yesterday on Monday. All right. Uh, this was the other crystal ball on the Aussie US. I didn't get much out of it. Kind of got into that one kind of late. Uh, also on the trade on the mini Russell, unfortunately, I did get into that one late as well. Didn't make much. But I did catch the mini NASDAQ at the right time. Did get into that at point of entry and I was able to scalp out of that so nice stay on that uh, these are the stock trades for yesterday and of course my stock trades for today ABVC is what really hurt me everything else is pretty much scalping had some really nice moves on LABD SHOT SHOT was hot uh, VFS was able to scalp a little bit out of that CVIO was hot was able to scalp a little bit out of that. So overall, not bad for the next two days. So remember, tomorrow is Wednesday. So not really sure what to expect. That things are really quiet in the morning. I'm probably not going to put on any trades. We'll just have to wait and see what kind of activity we have. My guess, just thinking about what's going on today, probably going to be a pretty quiet opening. I may not be doing any trading tomorrow, uh, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think futures are closing early tomorrow. I think they're only half day. I think stocks are open all day. But you know what? With Thursday being a holiday, you're not going to see a whole lot of trading going on in the afternoon. So if there's anything that's going to happen, it's going to be prior to the opening and shortly after the opening. If anything, we'll just have to wait and see. I'll probably put on some trades tomorrow. Uh, and if I do, it's going to be pre-opening and they're probably going to be pretty light. Don't want to do anything heavy anymore because it's just i just don't think there's going to be enough there to really get anything to really start moving big time you know so which is that the way to see that is it if you have any questions i do have more videos on crystal ball and that's going to be found on my youtube channel innovative trading strategies.com i think it's under the educational tab check that out and if you have any questions you can always reach me via my website innovative trading strategies dot com the approach that i use this is my own development I've been using for the last 40 years if you like to learn a different approach to trading one that has strong probabilities everything that i do is based on probabilities and the thing about patterns is they're easy to quantify that they're easy to go back to, they're easily easily tested by going back and looking at historical data but you can, uh, but you also see it play out in the future as well. So everything that I do, my entries, my patterns, I know what the probabilities are of each pattern. And Einstein, which gives me my exits, they always say it's easy to enter a trade but hard to exit a trade. Well, the beautiful thing about Einstein, it gives me high probability, high probability exit points. All right, and every single one of them has over 72% and higher probability of being hit. So I've got, uh, and it's, to, it, it's, it's not something I developed. It's something that I learned from a very successful trader. So Einstein in combination with my patterns are extremely powerful, as you can see from these trades. And once again, all these, okay, all these trades, uh, I do mention in my Discord channel. I do, I do trade during the day live 
for all of my students. You'll catch part of it in the morning uh, during the first 30 minutes, which is available to everybody, and then I continue on the Discord as I continue to trade. That's it. Let's see what happens tomorrow morning then. All right. See you all tomorrow.